The Christmas story is all about delivering God's message of good news. The Savior is born. Everybody, everyone from Mary to the angels to the shepherds plays a role in God's news. But what if during the very first Christmas, everyone had to communicate using phones and video messages and computers like we do now? Here is the story of the first Christmas, as told through a series of video messages. First up, Mary is getting an unexpected call from heaven. In ancient Israel, the town of Nazareth, the ta in the small town of Nazareth, lives a young woman named Mary, who is pledged to be married to a na man named Joseph. One other otherwise ordinary day, she receives a call from an angel named Gabriel. Hi, Mary. Sorry to show up out of nowhere like this, but I have important message for you, and it just can't wait. Oh, I'm Gabriel, and this is my angel in training. Just call her Gabriel Jr. Oh, hi. Mary, you have been chosen by God. You're getting a baby. Your baby will be the son of God. Congratulations. So you may be asking, how is this possible? Well, you know how your cousin Elizabeth was too old to have a baby, but now she's six months pregnant? That's because nothing is impossible with God. Your son will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, of, Mighty God Prince of Peace, but you should call him Jesus, Jesus which means God saves. Congratulations, Mary, and hallelujah. Mary's cousin, Elizabeth, lives out in the country with her husband, Zechariah, a priest. Like the angel said, Elizabeth is expecting a baby. Her son will be one day be called John the Baptist. When she learns of Mary's news, Elizabeth calls her cousin to celebrate. I just got your message. I can't believe it. I can't believe it because the angel visited us too. When I, when the angel said I was gonna have a baby, I didn't think it was true, but it was. The son of God, your baby. The son of God, your baby. names. I call dibs on John. Oh, and what are you going to tell Joseph? Joseph, Mary's fiance, also lives in Nazareth, where he works as a carpenter. When Mary tells him her news, he is excited but worried. Joseph calls Mary from work. Hi, Mary. I've been thinking what you said. Having God's baby. This is, was an unexpected. I just have a few questions. Will the baby call me dad or the other dad? Also, I haven't been a dad. Then, there. Usually, I don't know what to do. I read the instruction manual, but there's no instruction manual. How am I supposed to raise God's baby? Without instruction manual. I'm sorry, Mary. I don't want to freak out. I just want to have an angel meet me too. I won't be so nervous. I have an instruction manual. I'm glad we have each other.
crib? Yes, I was trying to build a crib. Same night, God sends an angel to visit Joseph in a dream. The angel calls Joseph to reassure him. Joseph, hi. Sorry for the delay. Lots are going on here. Heaven is preparing for the birth of our Savior. It's a big deal. Anyway, didn't leave to me. But you should not be, because Mary's baby is a child of the Holy Spirit. Mary has been chosen by God, and you have to be chosen by Mary. Together you will rise. Who would be the savior of all people? I hope that clears things up. Oh. Oh, and his name is Jesus. Bye. In a month of pregnancy, Emperor Caesar Augustus issued a decree to the whole Roman Empire that. A census will be taken. All citizens, including Mary and Joseph, must travel to their hometowns to be re-registered. The emperor sends this message to all people. I am Caesar. Go home. Joseph and Mary are descendants of King David, so they must travel a long way, ways to Bethlehem, which is the city of David. Since they are peasants, they do not bring much on the journey, just some fruit and water and, and a donkey to carry them. After walking for miles across the desert, that donkey has a word for Joseph. Hey Joseph, it's me, your donkey. The one who's been carrying your stuff for like 70 miles. Look, I get it, I'm a donkey. I carry stuff, I'm good at it. See? But Bethlehem, your hometown, is really far from Nazareth. I've never walked so much in my life. Plus, Mary's like nine months pregnant. Shouldn't be, she be home resting or something? Then again, what do I know? I'm just a donkey. Me and Mary talk a lot about God. Maybe God is watching over me too. If so, maybe God could find me a nice warm stable to rest in when we get to Bethlehem. Here's hoping. Mary and Joseph rise in Bethlehem and both eat connect by a place to take. Door in its full an innkeeper call Mary and Joseph adjusting where a place to day for night. Hi Mary and Joseph, welcome to the Bethlehem Inn. So I have good news and bad news and good news. The good news is business is booming. The census has got us totally booked up through the end of the year. We can finally build that pool. Bad news is we don't have a room for you at this time. The good news is we have a lovely stable, plenty of space to spread out, lots of free hay. Just push the cows aside and I think you'll be very comfortable. And all of our animals are very friendly. See? Plus, I've got, I'll give you an excellent rate. You're not expecting any visitors, are you? That night, Mary gives birth to baby Jesus in a stable in Bethlehem. At that very same moment, a group of shepherds is watching their sheep in a field outside the city. Suddenly, a choir of angels appears to them in the sky with a message. Hello, shepherds. Do not be afraid. We have been sent from heaven to deliver good news. Today a savior has been born. He will be like a good shepherd. 
caring for all people. He will bring light and hope to the world. Glory to God in the highest. Please on earth. Please on earth. You will find the baby in Bethlehem lying in A major. What are you waiting for? Go, go. Meanwhile, the Magi have traveled from the east, following an, a new star that appeared in the sky. These scholars and scientists know the prophecy of Jesus, birth and seek the baby who will be called the Messiah. The Magi have been instructed to report to King Herod in Jerusalem when they find the baby. But an angel has told them not to trust King Herod, so the Magi sent him this message. Hail. Magi here with a quick up update. We have been following this star for seven days. And it looks like it has settled over a little town to So that's where we've headed. And we picked up a few gifts for the Messiah. We have gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We thought about gathering something more practical, like diapers, but we think these gifts really Say you're the magical, special baby ever born. We've got, we're going to continue our journey. And then we're going to go home a different way because God told us in a dream that your your you Evil. Evil. Bye. Back in Bethlehem, the shepherds have followed the angels' directions and found the baby Jesus. They are joyful and amazed. They send this message to share the good news with the whole world. This is a message for all the people in the world. We are shepherds and we don't get out a lot. Jesse here hasn't taken a bath in a year. Um, it's, it's joy. True. True. Mostly, we live out in the fields and take care of our sheep. You're probably, you probably don't think about us much. Something. 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 
something happen. God sent angels to tell us that a Savior has been born in Bethlehem. They said, look for a baby lying in a manger, a manger like the thing cows eat from. So we said, where do you find cows in a city? And we thought, in a stable. And sure enough, there's a stable with a giant star over it. And look, there's a baby. They call Jesus. That cute little baby is the Messiah who will save everyone in the world. Even nobody's like us. But you know what? God chose us to tell you about Jesus. So we're not nobodies. And whoever you are, you're not a nobody either because this baby was born to save you. We have to go back to our sheep. Spread the good news, Jesus is born. This has been an extraordinary time for Mary. And now that she is a mother, a new adventure begins. Mary has been treasuring all these strange and wonderful events in her heart. When she finally gets a quiet moment, Mary shares a message with Jesus. Hi Jesus, I'm your mom. It's so nice to finally meet you. The world has been waiting a long time for you. I've been only waiting nine months, but it feels like forever. You, you are going to change our lives. Your story will be told over and over again, and it starts right here. So this is what I want you to know. The day you were born, you were surrounded by love. God's love shone through you like a light. And people came from all over just to feel it. I'd watched them come into the stables to, cautious and weary. Then they'd see you and suddenly they would be full of hope. I've been, I have a feeling you will never stop surprising me. People might be scared or confused by you, but if they let you in, they'll feel it. The hope, the love. You are the light of the world, and I'm proud to be your mother. Happy birthday, my son. Mm -hmm.